Master Remote Master Remote Master Remote I really need to clean up in here. Hi, welcome to Can of Spader Christmas. In this episode, I want to go over using the master and remote uh, functionality in Falcon Player. Now, I do have limited experience doing this, but I was able to get it to work, so I'll show you what I found out. Back on X Lights to set this up, I added, so I already had these two. I had the, the 512 Universe 1 and 2, uh, so these are for the lights. And then I added this one uh, starting at Universe 3, and I added 99 Universes, 512 for the Matrix. And you can, uh, if you check this out when you're creating it, it just creates this one single line output. So you see we have channels 1025 through 5172. And where did I get that number? Well, I created a matrix here that is 176 wide by 96. I chose top left for the starting location. Over on the sequencer tab, I already had single line one and two and I had these uh, bar effects up here. So then I went to right click Right, I right clicked on single line two, went to edit display elements, and this was over here. So I highlighted it, clicked that button to move it over here, close it. And so now we have the matrix in our timeline. On the timeline, I grab this video clip, you click browse, you browse to it on your computer. Um, I didn't really change any of this and but it did take a very long time to render and and i noticed that if i went longer on this effect than the video was then it just kind of made a blue uh, background so i set the end of this to the end of the clip then i just added this pinwheel effect uh, on the end of it to show on the monitor there so this 176 and 96 and top left is what you had to set here the end channel was 51,288, so that's why I set uh, 99 universes, so I've got 51,712 here for this matrix. And just render it like you normally do and upload it to Falcon Player. All right, I'm going to have to show you this in layers because I'm going to have a lot going on here. So I've got the F48 and a differential receiver here connected up to two uh, strings of lights. I've got a monitor here that is going to represent my projector. So it's going to hide the F48. I'll put the two strings right up front here. This is going to be the master it's also driving this set of pixels through the Falcon. This one is going to be the remote, and the only thing it's connected to is this monitor here. And so I'll show you the, the setup. They're both in standalone right now. Let's take a quick look at this remote. Uh, FPP settings, and you need to check off this force hdmi display if you're running video hooked into the hdmi port for the virtual matrix on the output you'll see that i don't have any e131 but i do have this virtual matrix and so since it's running directly to the hdmi port uh, i just added this virtual matrix I set the start channel uh, based on where it was from X lights, and then I set the height or the width and the height, and uh, and then it came up with this channel count here. So that's how I have this remote configured.
I think I have this figured out for you. So uh, they have, we have the FPP master over here. We have the FPP remote over here. Now, right now, they're both in standalone mode. So I, sh I have the same FSEQ file on both. I have the video file on the remote. So I should be able to play this. The lights come on. Okay. And then I should be able to play this one and the video starts. Okay. <laughs> so... So everything is set up. So the first thing I would suggest you do is start with a fresh reboot. So I'm going to reboot both of these pies. Yes. And we'll come over here. Reboot. Okay. And so when we get the clocks back, we know that they are back and ready to be set up. And just to verify that they are working, we'll play. Okay. And... We will play and we got that too. All right. So now we will make the switch to master and we will make this switch to remote. And it'll take a couple seconds. This interface will change. This one does not. Okay. So let's go to multi sync and we will read in all that stuff. And uh, I don't know if you have to do this, but I'm just going to check this off. This is the Ethernet Zero interface on the remote. And so we'll go back to the status page. Now, I have had better luck rebooting this again. So now that we have master and remote set up, we'll reboot both pies. All right, so if everything is working now, I should be able to hit play on the master and the remote will start playing. So we'll hit play. We got lights and we got video. Awesome. And we hit stop. Everything stops. We're good. Okay, so that was a pretty simple setup, simple configuration. A um, couple of things that I figured out after I finished filming. Uh, on the multi-sync page, let me put that over here. Um, the, when I unchecked all of them, the master remote functionality did not work. When I checked all, it did work, but it didn't seem like it was uh, super responsive like it was when I only did the single one that was on the wired ethernet port. So just play around with that, see what works best for you, but, um, that's that's what I found out. Also, instead of rebooting both pies between changes, try just restarting FPPD. That actually worked for me. So when you when you make a change in one of those check marks, it tells you to restart FPPD. Uh, if if that works for you, then great. If not, go ahead and reboot the pie and see if that doesn't get it working. One other note is uh, I got an or I got an email today that uh, 2.2 has been released. Uh, it will require a re-image if you need the external drivers, and there are some bug fixes that also require re-imaging. Otherwise, you should be able to do an in-place upgrade, so it won't require re-image. But uh, based on this video. HDMI output of video on remotes should sync better with master, uh, but it does require re-imaging. And you can go out to GitHub and check out the whole list of, of updates. These guys are really working hard to, to get bugs fixed and, and new functionality in there. So uh, there will be a little bit more churn. They're trying to get everything ready for Halloween. So if you have any other questions, you can leave them below. I'll try to get you an answer. If I don't know the answer, I'll point you toward the forums uh, but other than that thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon